fancy towels. Fancy towels on there. Yeah. Wow. She did well. Honestly, with all the things she did, she now added this one, 20 key. Hi God, I'm so grateful to her. Thank God she did. <laughs> 20,000 there. 20,000 there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> Lucy, what is it? What is bothering you? There is no point bugging you with the same issue over and over again. It's your brothers again, right? Are they fighting? Yes. I went to Mark's house. I met his seven months pregnant wife lying on the floor, yawning. Was it Onga? Yes. She was too weak to even stand up and welcome me. I had to quickly rush out to buy soft drink and bread for her to eat first before going to the market. I went to market to buy things. I used to prepare soup for them before coming back. What about your brother? My brother went to market and when he got back, he didn't even come back with anything. Lucy, I will suggest to tell her to go back to the village and stay. Maybe after delivery she can come back instead of her to, to be dying of hunger over here. You think I've not done that? I have. But my brother, he said no. Oh, really? Then allow them to face their fate. You need to see my brother, Mark. If you see Mark now, seriously, you're not going to collect anything from his hands. Tell your brother to go and drop her in the village and come back to the city and also for money. What is it? <laughs> you don't know Mark. Mark, my brother, he's too stubborn. He will not do it. He won't. She won't. Nobody wants to do anything, and you are here clean yourself for people that don't even care. Lucy, let me remind you that exams are about starting. If you like, you read your book. If you don't like, sit down there and be thinking of your brother. Maybe in exams hall, Mark and his wife will come back and write for you. Excuse me. Is the meaning of this? Oh, you want to know? But I want to go outside to hustle so I can give you money. Oh, I can't go with you to the athletic oh, today. Is that a problem? Eh? Am I going to use tissue paper when I get there? Eh? Are you the owner of the hospital? But I have told you before. Tell the nurse that your husband doesn't have money today. Let him take care of you tomorrow. I'll give you money. Very give good. Me. Exactly the reason you have to come with me. That's the point. Because you have to use your mouth to tell them to treat your wife on credit you or have, check your baby on credit. You haven't even asked the nurse, and she says she won't do it. Can you just leave me go? Let me go and hustle. Yeah, yeah, come pass now. Mark, come and pass. Mark. Come and pass. Come and pass. Eh. 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 Leave me alone. I'm charging now. Oh, yeah, now. Leave me alone. Charge. I'm charging. I will charge with you. I'm charging. I will charge with you, Mark. I'm charging. I will charge with you, Mark. I'm charging. Charge, Mark. Do your work. Do your work. Come and pass. Come and pass now. Eh. 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 Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Do your work now. Destiny, why are you sitting there so comfortably? Aren't 
you supposed to go for Atlanta? So what do you want me to do? No, tell me now. What do you want me to do now? What do you mean, what do I want you to do? If your husband refused to give you the money, why not look for another means? The last time I came to you to ask for money, did you give me? Didn't you tell me you don't have? So why are you advising me now? Please just avoid me. Avoid me. Eh, am I the only one living in this yard? If I refuse to give you, why not ask another neighbor? Ask somebody else. Eh? We're talking about your health here. Your own life. Madam Social Advisor, so you think it's everybody in this company that can go and be knocking on their door to ask for money? I'm not a beggar. Oh. I'm not a beggar. I cannot go about and be knocking on neighbors' doors for money. If you cannot ask anybody in this compound, call your sister on the phone. Call her and ask her for money. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. I will never in this life call my sister and ask her for any money. God forbid. Even if I'm dying, I will never take anything from her. Wait a But we are talking about your blood sister here. Mm, even though. I know, she's my blood sister, no doubt. But, <clears throat> you know what? Forget about it. No problem, Wu. All I'm saying is, go for Atenanta. It will help you in delivery. Eh? Not this one, your mouth is running. Blah, 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 blah. You will need my help, oh. That time I will not be here. Eh? Special advisor, are you going to give me any money? No, no, no. What, what will I go to the hospital with? Tissue paper. Should I cut paper and go to the hospital? Or are you ready to give me the money? Do you have to give me? Please, oh, if you don't have money to give me, don't advise me. Oh. Sorry. Don't come and advise me if you don't have money to add to it. Forgive me, ma. Don't be angry. I will not disturb you again. Don't worry, you come to my door and knock for me. I beg, avoid me if you don't have money to give me. I will, I will, I will. God bless you. I will avoid you. Advice without God. God bless you. Deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. I say to her, is woman, to forgive is divine. I've wronged you. I've wronged your wife. I'm so ashamed of myself, as a matter of fact. Otherwise, in fact, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. I do not even know what to say. I've lost my confidence to even kneel before you or stand before you as a friend, Francis. If not for the fact that I was instructed to come confess, trust me, I wouldn't have the confidence to do this. I'm sorry. The blessing that was made for you was held because of your sin. Not until you confess it to one another, you shall remain silent. I'm talking to you as a man of God. Go and confess your sin. Tell him you betrayed him. from us. Francis, I had a reason for what I did. And what is the reason? Francis, hmm? please, I've come for a big favor. I need a very, very big favor. Please, 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 as a friend, I really need you to do this for me. I need about 1.3 million now for my business. Please. I'm a guy. I'm. It's not that I don't want to give you this money, but right now I don't even have up to one million naira in my account. If I do, I would have traveled to China. Okay. Francis, what about five hundred thousand, please? 
My business is going down by the day. I just need this money. Jerry, I, I don't have money to give to you now. Francis, if you want me to nail down for you, I will. Okay, what about 200,000? Jerry, stop making me to... to feel somehow. Stop making it look as if I don't want to give you money. You're my, you're my nigga now. If I, if I have it, I will give you. Okay? No, 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 dear, okay, that will not dear. You're the only friend I can run to in a case like this, please. It's obvious this guy doesn't want to help me. This is exactly what he used to tell me always. So, you understand, my friend? Um, no, dear, no, dear. Eh? Yes, if I have this one, I'll give to you. But right now. Say, why? Oh, my friend, come on. Why? Sorry. You thought I was not going to help you. Eh? That's why you made away with the money I realized from my wedding. Jerry. Sorry, Francis. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did, you, did you just say sorry? You think sorry is going to solve this? You're a very wicked and heartless man. So, you stole this money all this while and you kept quiet and watched my husband and his younger brother fight all this while? Hey, Jerry, you're mean. Oh. You are mean. Jerry, you know what? Leave my house. Please. Guy, I don't want to hear anything. Just see them war. You don't want to go, right? You're still there, right? They will not pick up. If you leave for one minute, 50 missed calls will be there. Now I'm calling back. None of you want to pick. Uh, your sister and her husband came here looking for you. My sister and her husband. Did I, did I hear you say my brother? <laughs> yes, your brother. Ha. Um, did they leave a message? No, they didn't say anything. Immediately I told them that you people were not around. They just turned and left. What could they be looking for? Why were they here? How am I supposed to know? Mine is if I set eyes on Francis in my house again, it won't be this funny. <sighs> Vivian should leave me alone now. She should leave me alone to enjoy my husband's house. So let her just leave me alone. Hey! She should leave me alone, no? Yeah. Mark, my brother. We are deeply sorry for all we did to you, okay? We didn't actually see the truth in you. But you know, sometimes it's good for a bad thing to show up and fall off, for good thing to come together, okay? You see, the man who stole our money 
has been revealed. Your best man. Meche told you that your best man was not to be trusted, but you did not agree. Probably you looked at him as one of those tout talking. I'm glad he's done on you now. You know who the thief really is. And why didn't you let me know? <laughs> Meche did, but she did not listen. How do I know if you will listen to me? You see, brother, you're older than me. You're my elder brother. But when it comes to the streets, I think I know better. Mark, please. There is no need for all this. Sorry, 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 Vivian. The most important thing is that we're innocent. At least you found out that we're innocent. You know who the thief really is? Oh, baby. Why? Huh? You don't have to do this. At least they found out that we're not a thief. We're vindicated. Hmm? Aren't you crying again, oh? No? Oh? I'm so sorry, sis. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Girl, my brothers and their wives, they have reconciled! <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, darling, they have! Oh, I'm so happy right now. That's good news. <laughs> Guess what? The person that stole the money has confessed. Who? Jerry! Jerry did. Jerry? Yes! The best man? Exactly. The best man. Jerry is so shameless. He stole the money all the while. He kept the money all the while. And he kept quiet and watched your brothers fight over he this. Shot her. Yes, he did. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. Come thank here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. You know what? So, Mama, Papa, the guy who stole our money has been apprehended. Hey! 
Huh? Hey. He's not a person than my best man. Huh? Hey. Best man. A lot of worst man. Hey. <laughs> All this while I've been accusing my brother hey. for stealing my money. Hey. I actually feel so bad about it, but it's okay. It's okay. That's why my wife and I have decided to change their lives today. Hey! Jesus! I made a promise to him sometime. Mm -hmm. And I want to fulfill that promise before you. Mm -hmm. So we've decided to bless them with a the sum of five million naira. <laughs> hey. <laughs> eh? At last. Hey. Mark it here. Blood is thicker than water. Oh. He said the truth and we are doubting him. Oh my God. I'm so happy now. You and your wife should go ahead and live your life. Choose any kind of business you want to do and continue with your life, okay? Be happy again. Francis, go. Oh, Bless. Come on, don't do this. Hey! Hey! Huh? God has done it. God bless you. We have done it. Nah, this life no balance. Oh. When they cook, I'm not for an onion and that will last. What a go? A cook and one day, what a duffel and that will last. But no lily. Why not? I didn't know that isn't it. You see blood, blood now, blood. You make a chuck. You may look mad. Blood now, blood. You see blood. No, not alone. No, I know the loan. I say by the time Francis and Mark go set to say we no go know. Mark a praise bo made. Mark no be better person at all. Toles, 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 toles. When ne eh, their reconciliation no be my matters. Their reconciliation a pass from what did they worry me here? We mu abo meche, mechelin. Ye ne nyogodum sukuna mu five m. Five m one ne kezi mu awa onshe na. Okay, fele mezi. Kira wa onshe na wata razimu na. See eh, Mark wa no. If you Mark. Mark will tell you, say that money, no be for compensation. Say that money, we in brother promise and for settlement. Ta! Yeah. Mark, why no? Ta! Uh -huh. See, we we'll go meet Francis. We we'll go go and meet Francis for him to settle us. So get settle lie. My boss, you get settle lie. Nah, eh. Nah, eh. Tell us, can you keep your coffee now? You meet Francis, how? You raise me, Francis, and seek Francis. Can you keep your coffee Francis? Now, what are you going to tell Francis? I don't understand. No, you're asking me. Mate, you're asking me. Was it not me and you that. Francis disgusted in the market. All people that get caught in him are happily aye. That we stole all the money he realized in his wedding. Was it not me and you? You are asking me for what? He will settle us for insulting us. He will settle us for accusing us. You are asking me for what? Thomas, uh, 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 it makes sense, so. You see, eh? If you, if you Francis, da. Who is Francis? When you, who is, who is Francis? See, God. If you Francis, that guy need to appease to me, yo. If you Francis, eh? You didn't say if we get the money where Francis get. You didn't say we know we know carry Francis go, we we'll go cut. Eh? Wait, yo. You didn't say money where Francis get. If we get that kind of money, we know we carry Francis go cut. Yeah. Oh boy. Man, you can't afford. Tolles, you are there. What are you? Yeah. You can't afford. Man, now you know. Yeah, we don't understand now. Late now, you know how, where, when. Now I go care about this now. Madam, now Tony Kaleliog. Man, I just how. Na Nigeria, which money? Hey, go on is it Kelewu? I understand. Hey, go on is it Kelewu? I understand. Abu na mu abu toless. When I was still toless, who Francis is there? Me, mo ka tum peka da guy. Iga wo tole, iga wo toless. Hey, ima ye me na guy. If you take it, then hit a hit a bagum already. Guy, let's go and threaten Francis. Who is Francis? Where is Francis? Abu, let's go there. If you eh? 
Francis won you your man go go na in wife na in the ginger ram guy i dey na be francis ginger francis this guy go settle us Okay. See, I'm going to go with Francis. Let's go there and threaten that guy badly. Okay. See, I'm going to that guy. Me, 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 I concur with you. One day. I concur. I'm going to get you, Francis. I don't want to know. Guy, guy, this make, 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 make this man give, 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 us, give us something. Stop walking away. How beautiful you look. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See what I got. <laughs> you went to the market? I bought things so that we can cook and eat. Hey! Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. But darling, I already cooked. So I'm going to prepare this later. I don't understand. You already cooked. Mm -hmm. How uh, how did you get mine? <clears throat> I'll tell you. Now you sit. Sit down. Okay. Ta-da! Mm-hmm. My mother came around today. She brought us yams, so I made you this delicious meal. <laughs> I knew you were going to come back hungry, so I have plans. So where is she? Ah, she left for Vivian's house. Uh -huh. Sweet mother in law. You can say that again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me just get you water. Oh, please. Okay? Enjoy your meal. Wow. Thank you. I'm so, so 
I'm sorry. Where did you go to? I went to transfer money for my brother, Mark. Reverse is the case. I know. Instead of my brother being the one to give me money, I am the one giving him money. Do you know the problem? He said they hardly feed these days. That's the problem. And your elder brother and his wife, are they enjoying and throwing away food to dogs? I will not lie to you. He's willing to give Mark money. But the problem is that Jezebel. That woman will not allow him to give Mark anything. Not even one naira. That is the problem we are facing. Why can't he just go behind her? Like, he can help your brother without telling <laughs> Did you say behind her? <laughs> that will never happen. Francis can never remove anything, not even one naira, without her consent. It won't happen. <sighs> if I may ask, what exactly did your brother did wrong, apart from the money he took? Nothing, no. Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Just the money. Just that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What is... <laughs> nothing serious, my sister. Just that... Some people can be so, so wicked and heartless. That is it. My darling, forget about it. I'm sorry for keeping you outside. Come, let's go inside. You have to bribe me. Yes, you have to bribe me. A bottle of malt. <laughs> hey! Francis, my son. We sent for you. Because a popular adage amongst our people says that an elder is not supposed to stay at home and watch a she goat deliver in his dinner. In Igbo language, it is said like this. Okay, I don't mind in the Ewu amono bori. Sometime ago, you made a promise to give your younger brother some money to establish his own business. Even before the occurrence of that incident. But now it has taken months. We did not hear from you. We now decided to invite you home so we can discuss it one on one. Papa, we could have discussed this on the phone than asking me to come over. Yes, my son. But don't forget, that's why we summoned you here, so that we can sit and discuss one on one. Alone. I have changed my mind. And I said it after that incident. Huh? I said it openly. Huh? What? You changed your mind? How? The money he stole from me is his settlement. Mbano, no. Mbano, my son. You are wrong. He's your brother. Eh? Mama, it is not wrong. That money could have gone a long way for me. Do you know how I borrowed the money from my friends? And hoping to pay back after my wedding. Francis, talk to me. What are you trying to insinuate now? What I'm trying to say is that the money serves as his settlement. I totally disagree with you. Yes, I disagree with you. After all, how much did he steal from the wedding money? Is it up to 500,000 Naira? I don't know the exact amount. Uh, only him knows. Mark is a younger brother. One day he will for Ara, Francis. No matter what, you are not supposed to. In fact, what I'm telling you, you, you are not supposed to make this decision. 
that he stole so, some of the money you made from your wedding. It's not enough reason for you to swallow the promise you have already made to him before now. Mama, I have already swallowed that promise because I don't pluck money from the tree. Well, Francis, please, I am begging you, as your father, please try as much as you can to fulfill your promise to him. He needs this help now. He's in a very critical condition and needs it more than ever. Please, I am begging you, as your father. Baba cannot do that. I've already changed my mind. Mark. Mark. Mark is your brother. See, if, if you people don't have any other thing to tell me, um, I have to take my leave now. Use this money for your food stuff. Well, Take it, take it. We don't need the money. Give it to a younger brother. He needs his more than us now. Baba, I'm not going to give it to him. I will not do that. And I will never do that. Mother, would I accept this money from you? Are you taking this money or not? Come here. Your brother needs it more than, more than us. Hey! Okay. Drove in and I was waiting for you inside. I didn't see you. Hope all is well. I'm fine, my dear. How are you doing? I'm fine, though. So, why the urgent call? Papa called me to remind me of the promise I made to Mark after our wedding. Oh. I thought as much. So, what did you tell them? I reminded them of what I said after our wedding. Better. I mean, these people should just leave us alone. Eh? Mark they are even soliciting for. The guy has already settled himself. That's exactly what I told them. Do you know they rejected the money I gave to them for foodstuffs and said I should give it to Mark? You don't mean it. Hmm. <laughs> but I told them I will never do that. I will never do it over my dead body. I, I just hope that's not why my mother is calling me. <laughs> she called you? Eh? She's been calling and, and she said I should come home immediately. In fact, please just leave these people. Come inside and freshen up so you can eat something. You know go. What kind of thing is this? I'm not fine. Oh, I'm not lying. I'm not fine. What oh, happened? What's the problem? <sighs> Lucy. I have not... I have not eaten anything today. I'm so hungry. Yeah. You've not eaten? I swear. In this condition, you see, I've not eaten. I've not eaten, no. Oh. Lucy. Hmm. <sighs> You're beginning to regret it, right? Ah, Lucy. My condition is getting worse by the day. <sighs> Don't worry, there's a... Uh, I'll go get something for you to eat. Oh? Just more thing for you to eat. I'll be right back, oh? Okay. 
I'll be right back. I'm coming. came to the house, I wasn't happy at all. The condition I met your wife, seriously, I wasn't happy at all. If not that I came here, she would have fainted because she was hungry. Mm -hmm. I've pleaded with her to go talk to the sister and beg her for forgiveness. And you, please, just try and talk to Brother Francis. Lucy, please, that's enough. If you want you and I to continue as brothers and sisters, then do not mention Francis or his wife's name in this house again. That is your problem. You can never listen to anyone. Why? I don't know what you're talking about here. Why is everyone asking me to go apologize to Francis? What did I do? Why should I apologize to Francis? Hey, hey, now you're talking. Just go to brother Francis, tell him that you're sorry for the money they say you stole. Money I stole. Lucy. Lucy. No, what are you even talking about? You want my husband to go apologize for something he knows nothing about? My husband didn't steal that money. How are you sure he did not do it? My husband did not do it. He's not a thief. How can you say that? <laughs> you guys are taking a piece. My husband is only thief. It's not your fault. It's definitely not your fault. Thanks for the meal. So you have been inside. Ramak. Lucy. Lucy. You have to stop this narrative. You guys have to stop this. I mean, Mark can be anything but a thief. My husband is not a thief. He didn't steal the money. How else do you want us to explain it to you? I just want peace to reign. Excuse me. Just, I just want... I just want peace to reign. Just ask him for forgiveness. Just say I'm sorry. Just I am sorry. And that's it. I don't understand. Is it that destiny is support... It's like she's supporting... Destiny is like... You're the, you're the problem in this house. You're the problem in this house. Okay, come on, come on, finish up the food now. I don't even know 
why everybody is so, is so blind to all today. Blind to what? Yeah. What is that you're talking about? It seems so obvious that Mark and his friends, they stole the money. Stole which money? It's so obvious. As for my sister, whatever she sees in that house, let her just take it like that. Even. Yes. Even you're a woman. Of course I'm a woman. A right thinking woman at that. Not the other way around. What exactly are you talking about? Destiny is not in the same class with your brother, Mark. Ah, look at it now. Destiny has her ending. If not for her stupidity, she should be in school by now studying for her HND. Manu! She just ran, ran to go and meet Mark. Eh? Mark, my brother is not in the meeting. But he is now, Nene. Eh? Oh, is it that when you see the truth, you cannot know it again? Okay, let me ask you. What does your brother do? No, Vivian, what are you talking about? I want to understand what you're no, talking about. No, answer me now. Okay? That you're fortunate right. today does not mean you look down on people. All fingers are not equal. I'm not looking down on anybody. I'm only stating the fact. You just did. I, no, I'm asking you. Oh, yes, Sam. You just what did. What does your brother do? You just look down on my brother. You have to answer You me. just did. That your sister is not of the same class with my brother, Mark. Because Mark doesn't have money. Vivian, let me ask you. You're a graduate, right? Hmm? Mm hmm Okay. You're a graduate. And my brother Francis is not a graduate. Why didn't you say that Francis is not of your class? Oh, probably I get it not to worry. Francis is very rich. Vivian, remember. I reject that prayer. I reject that prayer in Jesus' name. It's not a bad prayer. I am not praying a bad prayer for you because whatsoever affects you affects my own brother. I'm only saying that your sister is dying there. She's suffering. She's dying of hunger. And here you are trying food to dogs. Lucy, if you had come here to insult me, I will not have it. I will not take it from you. I don't even blame just know that your sister is dying of hunger. It is none of my business. It is your business. I not tell her to it is your sister. sister. I did not tell her Why to get married to you so Why you so Why you problem? Am I the one that forced her to get married to Of course. Did I tell it her? Happens. Did I force her? No, this is not fair at all. What? It is not fair. No, what do you mean that it is not fair? It I'm, is not fair. No, wait. Am I the one that asked her to, to get married to a poor man? No, how really? is that my business? Really? How is that my business? It is my business too. It is your business because she's your sister. Honey, just eh? tell this girl, I cannot tolerate any other insults from her again. Eh? What, what is all this? Eh? After all, the person we are talking about here is even my sister. So what, what is even your business? It's my business. 100% my business because the girl in question is married to my brother. Of course, you know my brother can go out there and take care of himself. Oh. But what about your own sister? Let him go ahead. Eh? Let him go ahead and take care of himself. What is it? You people should just leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Why are we going to leave you alone? Eh? Vivian, you see you, eh? You see you. You're very heartless. You're wicked. Ah! What's all this? Am I the one that forced her to, to marry Mark? Did I force her to marry Mark? Well, what is it? Why won't you just allow me to rest? What, what is it? I, I will not tolerate further insults from you. Who is insulting you? I am not insulting you. If you're sensible enough, you know that I am telling you the truth. What nonsense truth? What nonsense truth are you telling me? The truth might be that Mark and his friends might not be the one that stole the money. Oh. That is the truth. So who now stole the money? Who stole the money? What, what, is, what is the problem? Eh? Are you mad or something? A bugging kitty now run to like a parrot. In my house. <laughs> Why, why, why did you even bring, bring up that, 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 that issue? Good point. Good point, brother. Yes, I will tell you why I brought this issue up is because I went to Mark's house yesterday. Guess what, brother? I saw Mark's pregnant wife, seven months pregnant wife, lying on the floor, yawning because she's hungry. I had to go and buy bread and coke for her before going to the market to buy soup things. And here is your wicked wife, your heartless wife, throwing leftover foods to dogs. You must be very, very stupid for saying that. Honey, one your sister, one her. Just one her. One her. Hmm. Hmm. Whoever that chooses to eat on the floor should not say that he or she has been denied of eating on a plate. 
Hmm? Mark chooses to eat on the floor, so whatever he does to himself is his problem, not ours. Do you understand? Eh 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 eh, eh kwa home, brother, you lie. You lie, brother. And I say, I swear, Zanya, a burun katanisi kuyoku. Brother, you lie. Mark, your brother did not choose to eat on the floor. Stop saying that, brother. Brother, what is it? We are talking about Mark, your blood, your own brother. Enough. Get out of my house. Uh, uh, and, uh, Get out of my house. Mary, hold on. Hold on. Oh. on. Lucy, listen to me. I do not want you to ever come into this house and bring up this issue again. I should not bring this topic again. Because your remote control has said, I have said it. It's okay, brother. Noted. I will go. Mr. Wadera, I will go. I'm leaving. Yeah. Francis, sometimes I don't even understand you. You're too quiet for my liking. Eh? Your quietness is becoming a sign of weakness to, to your sister. Ah! You just kept quiet and washed your hair rants all over the place. It's okay. It's not okay. Please, 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 please. please. I don't like it. Nobody's gonna come here to rant any nonsense again, okay? How come Dick Tiger? People don't know me too well. If I get angry, no one can stand it. <laughs> now I'm a remorse now. It's okay. Stop. Yes, I called. Uh, Mr. Wadera, I have a message for you. Okay. There is something I would like to ask you. I've asked this question before and I'm still asking again. Lucy, you have asked me the question before. And you still want to ask it again. Why now? Yes, it's just because I wasn't satisfied with the answer you gave me. Listen, Meche, you know how I got to know you through my brother, Mark. And ever since then, we've been close friends. Yeah, that one day, that one day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what please, is it now? Meche, I beg you, my family is tearing apart and it's all because of you people. That I know. Your family is tearing apart. Because of that, your useless brother, who failed to understand what is wrong with him and where his problem is coming from. What ago? Meche, just stop it. Stop it already. Why are you calling my brother foolish, useless? Why are you calling him names? Why? Hmm? Should I call him stupid? Should I call him Anohyang Rang? Let me cap you. If I have another name better than that foolish one, Nima, boy, you're stupid, boy, you're foolish. What if I name I have no apology to you now, okay? If I name Okay, fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Meche, please. I beg you. Just tell me. Did you guys do it? Tell me the truth. Did you do it? Please. Lucy. When I receive your call, I know saying that this kind of vertical talk, now they call me here, make you come cap me. But no, Lele. Lucy, sure you know I like you. I'm now for you. If not because of the likeness what I get for you, Lucy, eh, this is our standing here for turning into blood and one turn into something else. Who is that your brother, brother's self? He fell out there, me, eh? On a one way fra, on a couple How much is that money? What typically change that is tearing your family apart? Is he not ashamed of himself? And I buy for only a couple of Let me tell you, when next you call me for this kind of boom boom, I can't even believe someone named Manuel is sufficient for him. See there is, you see, you see that your brother Farah. Me 
talking tank this young man say now somebody like Mark being brother. If now somebody like me me chilling one chat, many is sufficient for no phone any now. If you call me a man the Mark, father Karin now is gonna miss a good cigar now. You have been a job based on the rice with King Solomon. What I go? I'm not even a claim right King Solomon.